Now I am going to dictate our journal passes based on Koilas Chandra Shorten magazine transcription number 265. Let's start. Sir, I beg to move that the bill to give effect to the financial proposals of the central government for the financial year 2001-2 be taken into consideration. Para. Sir, I had in my speech in the House on 24th July 2001 while presenting the budget for 2001 to explain the main features of the proposals contained in the bill. The explanatory memorandum circulated to the honorable members also contains the details of the specific provisions in the bill. I do not therefore propose to go over the detailed provisions of the bill once again. Para. I feel gratified that the budget has evoked a great deal of interest and during the debate on the budget in this house a number of very constructive suggestions were made by the Honorable members with regard to some of the proposals contained in the bill. I have also received a large number of representations from members of the public trade unions, voluntary organizations, professional bodies and chambers of commerce on the proposals in the bill. I express my sincere gratitude to all of them for giving us these valuable suggestions. I would like to assure the honorable members that we have given very careful consideration to all points which have been made with reference to my proposals. I had stated in my budget speech that I propose to make structural changes in our tax system. As the honorable members are aware, the government have since set up a tax reforms committee to look into the entire tax structure. The committee has been directed to submit an interim report within three months and the final report by February 28, 2001. While I will come before the House with comprehensive proposals after the reports have been received, I seek the indulgence of the honorable members to put forward proposals for amending some of the provisions in the finance bill 2001 para taking up the provisions for direct access in line with our objective of giving a thrust to exports i propose to increase the tax incentive for exporters under section 80 HHC of the Income Tax Act profit on sale of exim scripts will be treated as exports profit in the proportion of the export turnover to the total turnover of the business para. Honorable members will recall that I had proposed certain modifications in the scheme of tax concession for tourism industry as contained in Section 80 HHD of the Income Tax Act under the existing provisions. This concession is available only to approved hotels approved tour operators and travel agents actually in receipt of payment from foreign tourists in convertible foreign exchange. The modification proposed in the bill was intended to secure that this tax concession would also be available where payments for providing services to the foreign tourists are received in Indian currency from another hotel, tour operators 
etc out of the funds obtained by conversion of foreign exchange received from the foreign tourists in the various representations received by me it has been pointed out that under the proposal in the bill the tour operators would stand to lose recognizing the contribution made by the tour operators in attracting foreign tourists to this country i wish to make it clear that extending the tax concession to hotels and travel agents will not be at the cost of our tour operators with this end in view i propose to move an amendment to the bill to secure that the receipts in foreign exchange eligible for computing the concession do not get reduced by the payments made to another hotel tour operators etc for providing service to foreign tourists para under a proposal in the bill the tax concession available to indian companies in relation to receipts of royalty commission fees and similar payments from a foreign source for export of technical know how or rendering of services outside india is to be extended to the non corporate resident tax payers i propose to further enlarge this tax concession and make it available to technical or professional services rendered from india to concerns abroad per this will however not cover cases where the technical or professional service is rendered to non residents in india i further propose to do away with the existing requirement of obtaining prior approval of the tax authorities in respect of agreements with the foreign concerns stop there under an amendment to the income tax act proposed in the bill interests on sticky loans in the case of financial institutions and banks will be charged to tax only for the year in which interest is actually received or is credited to the profit and loss account whichever is earlier better i propose to provide that interest tax on such interests will also be charged only in the year in which the interest is actually received or is credited to the profit and loss account whichever is earlier by the bank or financial institution stop thank you